Hi guys and girls, um, quick video on the 5 litre Lamborghini Gallardo oil pump. Um, I do quite a few of these uh, from around the globe uh, here in Australia. This one here is from Sean in the UK, uh, near London there. Uh, this pump is, is ready to go back together. Uh, so most of the build's already been done, which I won't, I won't show. But I uh, did think I'd show you some things in here uh, in case you have tackled your pump and you have it apart and you're struggling to put it back together. Um, this is basically the order uh, or the, the layout, the exploded view, if, if you like, of the oil pump. Um, so two keys go in the rear stage. Uh, that's the front of the engine up this end, obviously. Um, so yeah, two, two key gears in the, the rear stage of the pump, uh, one key in the uh, center stage of the pump. Okay, this shaft goes right through here, okay, um, and that's a short, uh, a short recess in here so that this shaft here fits in there. Um, and, and rotates okay all the shafts rotate with with the gears anyway so there's it's very low a very low wear uh, design which is cool so one key in that center stage um, this gear is fixed pressed onto the shaft so that remains as it is in the in the front stage and this or virtually idles okay um, so yeah that's that's the layout um, we have, and obviously this goes right through to the to the rear stage here. Okay, so um, yeah, when when you the main problem we have with these pumps is the sleeve um, that drives the oil pump itself. So coming out of the rear of your timing case, you'll have your little intermediate shaft drive shaft here, uh, and to get the oil pump off, you'll slide this circlip here out of its groove and up there this sleeve will then be allowed to slide up there okay and your oil pump drive which couples with that will then be able to come back this way to allow you to get the oil pump off so um, now sean's pump like many we see the drive sleeve is rusted onto here and it's and this sleeve is the very first thing that's got to come off when you when you disassemble the oil pump um, if you try and pull that off, hit it, um, whatever you do, be very careful because as you're trying to pull that off, if you're not using the right technique, you're going to damage the pump. Um, so uh, what we generally do is we carefully grind the length along the length of the sleeve all the way down to it, almost through the root of the tooth there. And here's Sean's that we've cut off. Okay, you can't see very well here, it's in a packet, but um, I'll put some photos up at the end of the video here. So we've just ground through till it's just wafer thin. We haven't actually touched the shaft, we've just gone through till it's wafer thin, and then we've broken it through and op opened it like a clamshell and pulled both halves of the sleeve off. That then allows you to remove this front cover, and once you get that front cover off, this is the next bolt you want to undo. Undo this bolt to remove this gear, and then that allows you to slide this entire section off, okay? Um, then it's the row of nuts around the centre here. That section comes off. Uh, then you can tackle, tackle sorry, uh, the, the rear section. This comes off. Um, you can slide both gears out of this chamber, the rear chamber here, the last stage. Then you've got to get your keys out okay before you can slide this off okay because the keys obviously will not pass through your two uh, shaft bores there so um, o-rings uh, very difficult to get parts for this oil pump through Lamborghini um, but you can get all the seals bearings and o-rings um, from a general uh, bearing supplier uh, we use CBC in Australia or, or BSC motion technologies um, the two seals use viton uh, which is why they're brown in color so don't replace those two seals one runs in the very front case here 
okay, down in that bore there behind the bearing, or in front of the bearing, I should say. Uh, and the other seal runs down in this bore here. So uh, that seals the auxiliary shaft, which goes back to drive, I think it's the air conditioner or the water pump. And the seal in this half obviously allows this shaft to come through and gets coupled with the auxiliary drive shaft out the back of the timing cover. So um, on Sean's we've replaced um, the four ball bearings which are all the same part number, okay. Um, and the O-rings we replaced with you know high quality regular O-rings, they don't have to be pressed uh, to this shape, they're not moulded O-rings, they work perfectly fine, we use them in all the race cars and never have a drama, so um, yeah that's the oil pump exploded, obviously your cases should be um, ultrasonically cleaned if, if you've got that facility, if not take it to someone, um, the biggest worry is, is damage in these walls here, okay, this one, this pump is actually really nice, it's a lot better inside than what it looked outside when it first arrived, it has begun starving of oil, I think, at some stage in its life. And the reason I say that is because the gears have just started to pick up on the ends. Um, these have been isotropic polished, so they, they're looking like new. Um, and it should be better than new. Everything's been crack tested, so we magna flux, crack test all the gears and all the shafts, make sure there's no cracks um, starting to propagate from the... Keyway, keyway slots or anything like that. Um, housings we've we've die checked this that and the other. So um, the gear end clearance has to be checked. Obviously, when the gear sits in the housing, the distance from the, the top surface of the gear to the ceiling surface has to be a low enough clearance. That there's no oil bypass, but enough clearance that when the gear expands, it's not going to seize up. Basically, so you've got to have operating clearance there. Um, shafts through their bores have to have the right clearance. We put the shafts um, in a jig and make sure that they're nice and straight and they're, they're not bent and there's no run out in the shafts. Um, so it's a fairly complex process but it, it can be done if you've got a spare few days up your sleeve. Um, pressure relief valve spring needs to be checked the free length. Uh, if the free length is too short um, you need to replace that spring otherwise you're going to have lower than usual oil pressure. In cold climates, it's probably not going to be too too bad, but here in Australia, where it's um, say 44 degrees Celsius today, um, you probably yeah want as much oil pressure as you can get. Um, oil pressure relief valve, commonly asked which way it goes. Guys, pull them apart and don't take notice of which way it goes. But the flats go in. These flats here, flats go in first. Um, spring in behind that. Okay, that way. Then your cap if you like to plug and um, copper o-ring so um, yeah that's that's kind of it basically um, at least the footage here gives you some view of the order of and placement of the parts maybe if I lay this down more in in uh, situ here we'll give you more of an idea of the orientation of things okay Obviously goes like this. Alright. Once you got that down, you're, you're pretty right to go. Um, if there's any questions, yeah, pre please uh, ask down the bottom. If there's a video of anything in, uh, particular or specific you want done, let me know.